Can I share a stat with you? One in four millennials still live at home with their parents. I don't know about you, but me personally, I don't want to be a grown man still living at my parents' house. Get out your parents' house! So the first time I moved out and out of campus, not in a dorm or anything, I was in my own studio apartment, the ultimate bachelor pad. Of course, as soon as I move in, my mom wants to come up and decorate. And I'm like, mom, mom, my place, my. Maybe you have a two bedroom house. Maybe you have a condo, whatever the case may be. Just don't let your parents decorate it. Like it's yours. Let it be yours. Also, pay your own bills. Like, don't, don't, don't let your mom help you set up bill pay. Here, baby, I'll call the cable company for you. Like, you're adulting now. Like, adult. So why move out of your parents' house? For me, it was about growth. You gotta know what you're capable of. How adult am I? You know, you learn a lot about yourself when you're, when you have to, to make all these decisions because nobody's gonna make them for you. And that's part of growth as a person, as a human being. You have to start to, to, to take control of your life and take control of, not only your finances, but your decisions. Hey, do I put the TV here? Do I put the dresser here? Do I put the bed here? What groceries do you put in the refrigerator? Do you have an ice machine? Do you not have an ice machine? These are simple decisions and it seemed minute and small, but at the end of the day, these are things that'll be on you and it'll allow you to grow personally and allow you to take charge of your life. Let's do something where we out your parents' house. All right, step one. Oh, everybody's listening. Yeah, I love it. All right, you're gonna need a plan to make this move happen. First step is knowing your credit score. Landlords are gonna check new tenants' credit score and make sure they're responsible citizens. If you never lived on your own before, that score is even more important. Look, now that said, you can always ask a willing relative to co-sign the lease. Look, it's gonna make landlords more comfortable. All right, step two. You need to know what kind of crib you're gonna get set up in. What can you afford? All right, here's the deal. Rule of thumb is no more than one third of your monthly income should go towards your rent. And don't forget, you're gonna need a security deposit. A lot of these renters are gonna want you to pay first and last up front. Then you're gonna have to pay your utilities, water, electric, and internet. You also need to remember that all that stuff your mommy and daddy used to do for you, groceries, rides, cell phone bill, all that. That's you now, Sporto. All right, now step three. Here is a great trick to get you off your butt and out of your parents' house. You set a target date for moving out, right? Listen to me, that's game day, right? And then when it comes time to finally make that great escape, don't forget to save the money by enlisting everybody you know with big muscles to come help you move into your new place. Get your sorry ass up and get out your parents' house. You're the breadwinner, you're the adult. Go do it.